When is the right time to settle your case? Would you like to know the answer? Come join me for a walk along the beach as I share with you the answer to that question. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski, a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. The answer is, it depends. There could be many different times in which could be the right time to settle your particular case. It might be before you start a lawsuit. It might be immediately after you start your lawsuit. It might be after your deposition. It might be after I question the doctor whom you have sued. It might be after we finish the discovery phase of your case and now we put your case on the trial calendar. It might be during a pretrial conference before your case ever gets to jury selection. It might be during jury selection. It might be during trial. It might be after the jury comes back with a verdict. Ah, I forgot one. It might be while the jury is out deliberating. That might be an opportunity to settle your case. There are also instances where a jury can come back with a verdict and now, while the defense is deciding whether or not to appeal, your case could be settled. Your case could be settled after a jury verdict and while an appeal is pending. That's an opportunity. But once an appeal is decided, it's unlikely you could settle your case at that point. So what's all this about? I'll tell you what it's about. There are many instances where an injured victim, an injured patient, will turn around and say, listen, I want to know when the earliest opportunity is that we could go ahead and try and start negotiating and try and resolve my case. And the reason many injured patients want to know that answer is because they are told at the very beginning of these cases that they take anywhere from two to three years from start until finish. And that does not include any appeal process. And they know at the very beginning this is going to take two to three years. And that's a very long time for many people. So they want to know, number one, what's the likelihood their case will settle? And number two, when is the earliest opportunity that they could try and settle the case? The answer is it depends. It depends on many different factors. The first factor is it depends on whether the opposing lawyer is someone that we have worked with before, somebody whom we trust, someone who respects us and the work that we do. If the answer is yes, this is someone we have worked with before in the past, we respect them, they respect us, now there's a trust factor there. And now if we begin to approach that attorney and say, listen, could you go ahead and start evaluating this for the purposes of trying to resolve this sooner rather than later? There is the possibility that if they have all the medical records, that they can get an expert to review it and then conference the case with their principals knowing that we have a desire to try and settle this early. However, if we don't know the opposite attorney, if we have never worked with them before, there is a level of distrust. If we are dealing with an unknown, meaning an attorney we have never worked with before, that can create a problem for early settlement purposes. Why? Because they may distrust us, we may distrust them. Now why is that? It's because if we come to them early on in your case and say, listen, We'd like you to evaluate this case because we think that this case should be settled now rather than later. They may be hesitant for a couple of reasons. Number one, they may not have all of your medical records necessary to do a full and proper evaluation. Number two, they may not be in a position to go ahead and get a medical expert at this early stage knowing that we still have a lot of discovery to cover, knowing that your deposition is coming up knowing that their doctor has not yet been prepped for deposition. So in that instance, it's going to make early settlement discussions much more difficult compared to having a conversation with someone that we have worked with before, someone who we know is trustworthy, someone who trusts and respects us. Just because you begin settlement discussions does not necessarily mean you're going to be successful. It simply means that they're going to start negotiating and now they're going to go ahead and evaluate your case with a view toward negotiating. So let's go back to the question I raised at the beginning of this video. When is the right time to settle your case? As I mentioned at the beginning, the answer is it depends. It depends whether you have a very strong case. It depends whether the facts are so obvious and the liability is so obvious that it becomes easy to understand exactly who is responsible. Now, here's another thing. If you are still undergoing medical care and treatment for your injuries, now your settlement discussions become a bit more complicated because now we don't know what the true extent and permanency is for your injuries. It would be disadvantageous to you 
to go ahead and start negotiating while you are still under the care of your doctors, whether you need additional medical care, whether you may need additional surgery. Because if you do, then that will significantly increase the value of your case. And if you try and settle your case before you have completed all the necessary medical care and treatment, now you are shooting yourself in the foot. Why? Because of your implicit desire to try and resolve your case without the need to go through the entire litigation process. From our standpoint, that's not a great ideal move. Why? Because our goal is to try and maximize the value of your injuries because once you settle your case, you can't come back to the defense later and say, hey, you know what? I shouldn't have settled within six months after starting my case because I still have three more surgeries to go. I'm going to be disabled for the next three years, five years, 10 years, and I didn't know that at the time. So I want to go back and reopen my case and renegotiate. No, 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 you can't do that. Once you settle your case, you're done. You can never come back and reopen your case. And that's a problem. That's why when I raise this question, you know, when can we settle this case? We have to make sure that you are done with your care and treatment. So now we have your medical experts, now we have your treating doctors know exactly the full extent of your injuries. At that point, we can go ahead and have real settlement discussions with the defense because now we know the full extent of your injuries. So why do I share this quick information with you? I share it with you just so you can see the beautiful scenery here. No, that's not why I share it with you. I share it with you just to open your eyes to help you understand how these types of cases work in New York. You know, I recognize you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen in New York and you have not yet started a lawsuit, but are thinking of doing so, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know, I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.